right guys, we are looking at a Rockwood travel trailer right now. Uh, it is a Rockwood 2910SB at Forest River. Has solid steps, go right in, there's the bathroom. So it has an angled bathroom there, it has a corner nice size corner shower stall has our sink some storage a little bit of vanity as well there is a skylight and also your vet fan go to the right is your master bedroom it's a little dark in here guys so bear with me there we go turn the light on here for you so yes the master bedroom has some storage over top of it one cool thing with the rockwood it's got a front windshield and then it also has the wardrobe now the wardrobe isn't bumped out right now so with it in it sits right up against your bed there is storage under the bed and then you have your spot for your TV so progressing on past the bathroom it does have the convenience center right here for you Kitchen is a nice open floor plan here. So you have yourself your sink with some covers. Uh, it has a built in dry rack on top of it, too. Has a three burner stove, oven range, and then it has the uh, Magic Chef uh, microwave storage. It has a Dometic refrigerator. And then you have a, a smaller TV, Furion soundboard, CD player, uh, with a USB charger, nice, enter, uh, nice storage area there for you. Uh, coat rack is back all the way back here. Some more storage. Some more pantry space in there and on the lower. Uh, it has the slide on the, this is on the door side, so you can see it has the couch and uh, dinette that flips down. There is storage over top, it gives you some storage space. Now this is a bunkhouse, so uh, when you walk in, to the right is your master, and straight ahead your bathroom, and then back here is the door to your private bunkhouse. Walk into the bunkhouse, you have a sofa that uh, is on the bottom, and you get yourself a, a bed up top with a ladder, and the sofa does flip the sofa does flip out into a bed. A little bit smaller on the bunkhouse size, uh, primarily because you have yourself another a half bath in this travel trailer. It's a half bath with a travel trailer. Um, has your storage on the opposite side here with the rear exit to that bath built in built in toothbrush and cup holders sink and a Dometic toilet is very nice so we'll go out the back door here now as I said it does have a slide on the outside on the on the step side um, and this one is actually fairly deep. It's probably one of the deeper ones I've seen. It's about a two foot, two foot step out. So it, that will interfere with uh, campsite sizing, spacing. If you get into a narrow spot, you won't have much room for your uh, for your picnic table. It does have an outside shower, which is nice. You can wash your, your feet off from the sand and go right inside the house. Um, has a ladder up to the roof spare tires mounted to the back also has a spot so you can put your stinky slinky uh, getting into it there's a mount for an out extra ear television and it does have the, uh, the spot to hook your cable in to, of course power as well um, nitrogen filled tires and then a little bit of storage underneath here in this in the side that's where your refrigerator and the back side of your cabinets are so no exterior kitchen, but uh, going around to the front here, it does have 
uh, you do have your awnings on both the, the slide and up front. But like I said, with that bump out being on that door side, it's going to be tough in some tight corners where you won't have a picnic table unless you're out front. Um, does have some storage under the master bedroom for you, uh, which makes it nice for have a basement. Uh, going to around to the front, you have your propane tanks. You have a power lift, and then you can see the front the front window there. Uh, windshield in the master. All your connections are here. Um, low point drain, which all oh, your pump and everything is accessed in there. Getting into your, uh, your furnace or hot hot water heaters up front. Fresh water drain towards the front, and then you're up in front of the axles where you're going to drain your holding tanks. See what this interesting is looking at. All right, you have a little storage spot here. It's underneath the kitchen sink, so that's on the curb or on the road side. Um, cable satellite. It is wired for your uh, 50. It's wired for 50 amp. So yeah, it's uh, fairly interesting. It does have a, the, your bunkhouse slide. It's here on, uh, and that also sticks out a good bit. So, having the dual bathrooms, you have your other drain, your other wastegate just down here on, on the back side. So, that is that Rockwood Ultralight. Right, Weight wise, it is 9,610 pounds, uh, gross vehicle weight, and it'll hold, let's see, 15, five, uh, 1,543 pounds of cargo. Is what you're going to get in this so total gross weight's 9610 pounds on this on this unit and there's where the slide would come out for that wardrobe right now it's tucked in nice thing with this particular unit is they, they have, all of them have your slide out covers the roll out to help protect your slides hey guys make sure you hit that subscribe button and then once you do that turn on the bell so that you get notifications on when we post more videos.